Hi everybody, this is Game Wiener here. I'm about to show you guys how to mount two separate um, mounts for uh, for like uh, DOS box games, that kind of stuff. Um, I've seen a ton of videos on how to make one, but I haven't seen one video on how to mount two separate images into DOS box. So essentially putting two CDs on the DOS box. Um, I've always seen it for one. So I'm not trying to, you know, just have people limited to that. Obviously, there's games with two or three discs, and those games are fun and need to be played, but how do you do that without having the ability to mount them? So I figured it out. Um, it took me some t trial and error to do that, but nevertheless, I figured it out. So we're going to mount C as the D file. Okay, so now drive C is mounted. So let's go ahead and hit it just like that. We got C here. Very clear cut so far. All right. Now we need to image mount, but how do we image mount two separate files and keep it onto the same directory? I figured that out too. So image mount. Okay, D. Because we're mounting D now. Just like any other ROM, you should mount it on the separate platform as far as the image mount. Okay, so now we have it that way. Com fid, because I, just so you guys understand what's kind of happening here, I have it in my D drive as com Sharon and com fid. This is for Kingdom of Magic, a great game, by the way. So, how you do this? is now we have config.iso and that's where that file resides okay but then we're also going to d colon backslash com charon and then now that we have those two there we then at the end of however many cds you're trying to upload then you go minus T ISO. Okay? So as it says, says there, you have drive D mounted as com underscore thid ISO, and then you have com underscore Charon ISO. So you actually have both files already set up. You see what I mean? So if you wanted to do that with other ones, you could essentially, and you can separate them if you notice on that last line it says drive D is mounted as D colon backslash com underscore thid ISO and then it has a semicolon and then D whatever you could actually separate them that way so if you wanted to do three discs you would just separate each one that you're individually setting up you know as a semicolon and then at the very end put minus T ISO you don't have to do it that way obviously I did it without the semicolon so you can do it without them all right now that we have that set up, we're going to install. Oop, my bad. There we go. So I ran to the D drive where it's and I'm good to go. Okay. We're going to let this all be done. It's installing. Great. We got Kingdom of Magic installing. Wonderful. Okay. Enter to continue. Now we're back here. Type. Kingdom of Magic to play, right? So KOM, there we go. Ah, uh, what wonderful music, right? Now we have them both mounted, so the way this should work now, and forgive me, but you know, my streaming software, I, for whatever reason, it's stupid. It just uh, doesn't do what I really needed to as far as letting me actually manage and control the game. It's kind of a pain in the ass, so. Here's, here's how that works. Just give me a sec. I, don't, I have no idea why it keeps doing this, though. It's very annoying. I have to move this. Give me a second, guys. Because now we have to understand how do we switch the CDs, right? So, if we go here, if I can finally go here, I don't know why it's being such a pain in the ass right now. And just give me a sec. Hello, and 
welcome to the Kingdom O. There you go. I'll be your host as you attempt to survive and succeed in this comedy epic. Alright, there we go. So I figured that well out. Done. So typically in the game, just so you guys can see this, typically in the game, picking Sharon means that you have to switch the disc. That's why it says Thid and Sharon as two separate ISOs. So now this time, let me go ahead and pick a quest. So this is what it prompts me to do then at that point, right? So it says please insert the Sharon disc, right? So instead of doing uh, you know, manual disc, obviously. The way you switch that is Control F4. That's going to change it between mounts, between. So I'm pressing Control F4, okay, and then press Enter, and voila, there you have it. You now are able to switch between the discs as prompted. It's pretty simple. Don't press it, obviously, while it's not prompting you to actually switch the disc. Otherwise, it's going to cause complications to your gameplay. But ultimately, that's pretty much it. It's pretty plain and simple. A lot easier than I thought it was. Um, but definitely, I hope you found this useful if you guys are you know, out there playing DOS Box and playing your old games. If you like the video, subscribe. I uh, definitely appreciate subscribers and viewers. Leave some comments at the bottom if you have any other questions. I will do my best to try to help you out with that. But either way, this is Game Wiener. I appreciate you guys. Check out GameWiener.com, too. We're trying to make a, the best gaming website this side of the Mississippi, and we need your help. So hopefully we'll see you guys on there, too, as well. And I appreciate you guys watching. Have a good rest of your day.